Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk session. Today we're going to talk about something that's very important when you're designing plane bearings, and that's PV. PV is without a question the most important factor in determining how well a material is going to work as a plane bearing. Now PV is pressure times velocity. The P being expressed as PSI, the V being expressed as surface feet per minute. So let's talk about how we figure out what our bearing is going to be. First of all, to find out the P, we take the ID of the bearing and multiply it times the length, and that gives us our usable surface contact area. Once you know that, then you take the known load on the shaft and, and divide that by your surface contact area, and that will give you your PSI. So let's take an example of two inch ID, a two inch long bearing, and let's assume we've got a 400 pound load on the shaft. So two times two is four, divide that into 400 pounds. Our PSI or our P value is 100. Now one thing about P is there are a lot of other factors that can come into play. You don't always know exactly what the load's going to be on that shaft. So the numbers that we work with uh, in the industry are fairly conservative and we can pretty much take up any possibilities of external loads that are outside of the known loads such as cantilevering, uh, gearbox and motor loads, things like that that you can't always necessarily account for. So we know what our P is now. It's 100 PSI. To find the V is a little simpler. We know what the shaft speed is going to be just on the basis of the mechanics behind it. So let's take that same two inch bearing. We've got a two inch shaft. In order to find out what the surface feet per minute is, we simply take the shaft diameter times pi, 3.14 for round numbers. Um, so in this case, we're gonna take two inches times 3.14, which gives us 6.28. That is the total number of circumferential inches around that shaft. Now multiply that times the RPM, which is a known, a known number. And let's say in this case, we're going to be running at 100 RPM. So you have 6.28 times 100, or 628 circumferential inches per minute. Now divide that number by 12, and we basically get, again, round numbers, about 50 surface feet per minute. So for this particular example, we have a 50 feet per minute speed. We have our P, we have our V, you multiply them together and you now have your PV. In this case, 5,000. Now the important part of this whole process is understanding that each individual component, the P, the V, and the PV, must be considered independent of one another. Every material, whether it's bronze, steel, wood, or plastic has a maximum P, a maximum V, and a maximum PV. You have to look at those three issues independent of each other. If one of the three is out of whack, it's too high, the application will more than likely fail. So, understanding PV and the consequences of exceeding what the capability is of the material will brought, probably bring you a failed bearing. So it's very, very important. Now the reason it's important is because anytime you exceed loads and speeds, or the combination of those two things, you're introducing that material to things that it's really not designed to take, usually in the form of heat. Frictional heat uh, can be generated very quickly, and in the world of plastic bearings, heat will kill a plastic bearing faster than anything else. So, Pressure times velocity equals pressure velocity, all three independent of each other. Be sure that you keep each one below the maximum. The other thing to keep in mind is that there's a lot of other conditions that can cause PVs to go up, like ambient temperatures, uh, the shaft finish, the shaft material, the shaft hardness. All of these things can come into play and affect PV. So, Keep in mind these issues, how they relate to the performance and longevity of that bearing, 
And if you do, and you follow the rules, you will have a successful application. Thanks for joining us today, and be sure and look for other opportunities to learn more about plastics and bearings from TriStar's Tech Talk. Thank you.